So on this week's podcast, I was trying my best not to swear, so I didn't have to hit the explicit button, but that didn't work. Uh, I got really fired up about this topic. You know, had an interaction a couple weeks ago on LinkedIn where I saw, I call, I'll just call him a jack wagon. Uh, jack wagon physical therapist put up some nonsense video about why soft tissue treatments don't work. And I noticed a lot of massage therapists chimed in and tried to reason or debate with them. And that is a no win situation. So on this episode, I wanted to dive in deep about what to do when you know, specifically physical therapists bash soft tissue treatment and say it doesn't work and give you a playbook of what they do. They all do the same thing. They throw out the same nonsense studies. They start to question everything about soft tissue and they really haven't put the time or effort in to really be good at it. So instead of saying that, they actually bash it. So I wanted to equip you with a playbook and an idea of what happens so you can handle when these jack wagons come out and start bashing what I believe and I know is the superior treatment modality in the entire world, soft tissue based treatments. So I hope you guys enjoy the show. And I swore a lot, but that's okay. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Soft Tissue Revolution Podcast. Dr. Matt Maggio here. Thank you so much for stopping by. I just always want to thank you and be grateful um, for you giving me your time, your energy. It's your most important resource. And I'm seeing that with the Soft Tissue Revolution growing, more and more people joining, changing their perspective on the importance of soft tissue treatments and being taken seriously as a healthcare provider so we can go along the journey together to stop pain pill abuse by helping people that are injured and in pain get properly educated and informed on their injuries and access to quality hands-on soft tissue treatment. That's why I started the revolution. On the last podcast, I dove into my why a little bit and shared an older podcast where I talked about the death of my father and how he was murdered by the medical system. Um, pretty passionate about this stuff. Um, as you can tell, you know, I've been doing this podcast for well over two years and I'm all in on soft tissue treatments. I know, and I believe with my entire heart and soul that the best treatment modality on out there is hands-on soft tissue treatment. But every once in a while you run into some of these people and they bash soft tissue treatment. Uh, specifically physical therapist. And I had one of these stories happen a couple weeks ago. So on this podcast, I wanted to cover, you know, how to handle when physical therapists, you know, specifically physical therapists, bash soft tissue treatment. So a couple weeks back, I was scrolling through LinkedIn and I saw something in my feed and it was like a TikTok video. I, I don't even use TikTok. I don't even know what the hell it is. Um, I guess I'm just an old crotchety man, even though I'm only 36. But I saw this video and basically it was a physical therapist and I did some research from Australia. They've been a physical therapist for about five years now and they made this whole video thing where it started with them with some bullshit, you know, soft tissue tool, just doing like some scraping on the elbow. Um, anytime you just say scraping either, there's nothing like therapeutic or clinical about that. They're like, this doesn't work. And then this doesn't work. This doesn't work. And they're like, First off, the treatment doesn't work. Secondary soft tissue treatments just don't work. And they do this. They do this blah, blah, blah bullshit all the time. And the physical therapists are the fucking worst. Great. Now I got to hit explicit, but that's okay. Because they are the worst. And I saw some massage therapists that I'm linked up in with on LinkedIn. And they chimed in a little bit and tried to do that. And every all the physical therapists just come out like fucking wolves and they just attack. And they just all stick to the same narrative. And one thing you have to understand, I talk about this all the time. Um, my favorite book of all time probably is The Laws of Human Nature by Robert Greene. I talk about it all the time. And if you want to understand people and their actions and their motives and why they do the shit that they do, it is an amazing book to read or listen to. But there's two biases in life um, that all humans have. One is confirmation bias. It's like, you know what, no matter what, when I look at the data, it's I'm going to skew it to fit 
my views, my points. And this happens all the time. You're seeing this just in the modern world and then conviction, conviction bias. Conviction bias basically means that I believe in this so much that nothing else can, can matter. And this is what happens with these people and they start to bash stuff. And then we kind of take a back seat and it's like, usually it's better not to fight with people who have biases. Um, you're never, you're never going to win and you're never going to find common ground. And when they make videos like that, they're just being fucking trolls. But every once in a while, I do like to engage with these people because I want, it isn't about their opinion. It's what other people see when you go in there, because there are people that are looking at there and there are people that need to stand up and be like, shut the fuck up. Like this soft tissue treatments do work. And so if you choose to engage with these people, understand that they're going to have biases going in. They don't want their mind changed and you're not going to be able to change their mind. That's what I saw with a lot of the massage therapists that were commenting in there. They were trying to be nice about it. I'm like, don't be nice to these people because they're being assholes and they try to change their mind and then they just keep going in and bashing it more and more. But if you choose to do so, I got a playbook to help you know what's going on when they do it, because they all do the same damn thing. I tried not to swear as much there. They do the same fucking thing. There we go. And it pisses me off, but they do it. It's like their playbook that they learned in school. Um, before we get into it, but first off, let me explain what I call the order of operations in the treatment process. So there's an order of operations to fixing any, any injury. Well, first one, is you got to know what the hell it is in the first place. And usually that's a non-starter for pretty much everybody. They usually diagnose or don't even bother to diagnose based off what they're trained in and they just want to do a treatment. So that by itself is a non-starter for most things. And physical therapists are guilty of it. Massage therapists are guilty of it. Chiropractors, everybody's guilty of it. They diagnose based off what they're trained in instead of what the client actually needs. We actually have some free training where I go into the idea of critically thinking and being able to figure out what the problem is. All that's linked up below. So I would grab that as well. Um, like I said, totally free, no obligation stuff on that. But basically the order of operation goes as the following. Number one, to fix an injury, once you've established what it is, you must restore range of motion. Range of motion is is limited and that's what causes an injury and causes pain. And usually what limits that is a problem in the tissue, specifically scar tissue formation. Scar tissue is like glue that gets inside the muscle, makes the muscle weaker, makes it less flexible. Now, when scar tissue gets in there, it can't move accordingly. So scar tissue can be found in the muscles, it can be found in the tendons, it can be found in the ligaments, and it can also be found around the nerves and some nerve entrapment. So that really gives you an idea of what's happening. Limited range of motion must be addressed. Number two is we must balance the strength. Uh, what does that mean? So over time, when there's a dysfunction or biomechanical problem, once we get the range of motion back, we have to balance where that strength is. Um, those are more corrective, more isolated type of exercises. Then number three is we need to increase overall strength, build up the global strength in there. And then number four, only if absolutely needed, uh, we need to retrain the neuromuscular system. Most times you don't need to, but don't let the neuro people tell you that. This is where they start. They go right in there, and I'm not going to go into all that about the neuro stuff. I've already gone into my take on neuro-based treatments and how they're actually complete bullshit and they don't do anything. I'll link that up in the show notes as well. So, yep, you got to restore range of motion. That's where we come in as soft tissue practitioners. We are the first people that they need to see. The problem is that tissue just isn't going to be healthy unless you get in there and actually break that down. And the only way to break down scar tissue with either, is either with your hands or the use of an instrument. But we're going back to what these physical therapists said, soft tissue treatments don't work. You can't do it. So here's where they go next. They always say, well, where is your data? Where is your double blind clinical empirical blah, 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 blah. They'll use a lot of fancy words too. They like to do this. They'll use a lot of fancy words when they do that. And they'll be like, where's your study? Where's your study? The problem with musculoskeletal anything, and especially studies, is it's fucking impossible to isolate one variable and get in there and be like, oh, this one thing. It doesn't happen. There's so many other issues. There's there's the tissue quality. There's metabolic issues. There's psychosocial. Could the person be crazy? There's problems with the structure and trying to isolate one thing. So what that what ends up happening is anytime there's a manual therapy 
study, they basically find that it doesn't really do a whole lot because you can't isolate one variable. So these are where these people go into and they're like, well, where's your data? Where's your data? Where's your data? I'm like, where the fuck is your data? That's where I go. I'm like, where the fuck is your data? And you have to be willing to like argue with these people a little bit because they're being assholes too. They'll be all nice with their fancy words and everything like that. So they always pull out some studies on soft tissue treatment. And this is where they found their evidence. And I'm using like those air quotes with my fingers, evidence that soft tissue treatment doesn't work. So there's a study, I don't remember how long ago it was, but basically where they found errors in actually being able to identify and even palpate like normal muscles in landmarks and tissue dysfunction. So they go in and they're like, they found that basically there was a huge margin of error for people trying to find that. What they don't tell you in the study is that it's like second year university students who aren't even that fucking good yet. So in your mind, you can't fathom the idea that, you know, people that have been doing it for a long time might actually be experts and stuff like that. And people that are experts out there actually doing it in the shit, actually getting out there and fixing people and helping them, they're not participating in bullshit university studies because they know that their shit works. But they use that all the time. They're like, well, here's a study where you know, there's a lot of errors in palpation. So how can you even fix a problem if you can't find it in the first place? They can't fathom that a second year student might actually fucking suck at that. And even worse, somebody teaching them probably isn't that good. We all know that the people that teach really aren't that good. If they were that good, they'd be out in the real world making a fucking difference. So, you know, I'm getting fired up today. Um, next one that they throw at you, this whole study about how it's impossible to treat scar tissue unless you have superhuman force, more than 2000 pounds of force. But what they don't tell you is it's only for the fascia in the foot, which is pretty strong, pretty fucking durable, and needs a lot of force. They then try to make broad generalizations and say that it correlates for everything in the body. And we know that it doesn't work, but that goes right back into the beginning of the talk. They have confirmation bias. They're going to make the data fit their narrative that soft tissue treatment doesn't work. It does. And it works really well. And actually, to break down scar tissue in a muscle, you actually only need 6.28 pounds of force. But you need it in the right vector. And that's what I teach a lot of my system is it's not just the depth, but it's also tension. You got to get proper depth, then tension to break that scar tissue down. So what these people go is, well, see, this study said this. You, you need superhuman force. It doesn't work. No, fuckhead. It actually does work. It's just that saying for the foot and the fascia. There's a lot of other areas in the body and there are gray areas. It's not black and white. But this is what people do when they pick and choose data and they're trying to bash what you do. Then they just go, well, you know what? It just plain doesn't work. I'm like, okay. You know why it doesn't work for them? It doesn't work because they suck at it. And they haven't put in the time to get good at it. So... Learning and being a master at soft tissue takes time. It's like learning an instrument. You have to put the effort in. And what happens is these people take like some bullshit continuing education class where they barely ever learn it. They try and they're like, oh, it doesn't work for me. So instead of being like, you know what? It didn't work for me because I didn't put the time in. They don't take any personal responsibility and they start to bash and they start to throw shade on other people and be like, it doesn't work. No, motherfucker, it does work. It works for people that are experts that have dedicated the craft to being amazing. People like you, people like me, it does work. And then they go, well, where's your data? Where's your studies? We're not doing studies because we're actually out there in the real, real world getting knee deep in the shit and actually proving that it works. So then they just go, well, without any empirical data and double blind studies, it doesn't matter. I'm like, good, go hide behind your bullshit. And I said this as we went on in the conversation, I engaged this person. He's a lot of big words, a lot of big words. So let me know that he's very smart, very smart. Um, big words let you know that people are smart. So he engaged back and we went back and forth. And then I usually don't like to use this, but I use it and I call it the nuclear option. My nuclear option is like, okay, well, if my shit doesn't work, then why are people that want to use their insurance, want to pay less, paying me $100 for 15 minutes of treatment out of pocket? It must be one hell of a fucking placebo effect. That's what they like to say too. It is a placebo effect according to them I'm like well we must be doing something right because people are willing to pay out of pocket for go insurance to actually get this stuff so we must be doing something right and then usually the conversation ends at that point so recognizing the biases with these people they have confirmation bias they have conviction bias they haven't put the time in and they're bashing something and saying it doesn't work because they suck 
we are the first people people need to see. We are the most important part of the treatment process. Yes, eventually people need corrective exercises and they need services of physical therapists, but they need us first. We're like putting the foundation down and you in building a house. What happens with the physical therapist, corrective exercise people is they want to put the siding and the roof on before they lay the foundation. Yes, we need to play nice, but there is an order of operations and people need to start with us first because we are the most important part. We're going to figure out what the hell's wrong. We're going to restore range of motion. And a lot of those corrective exercises we teach and we show people in our office as well so they can avoid having to go to some lame dick physical therapist that isn't going to do anything. So... These tools will, that I just shared with you, they'll, they'll equip you if you unwisely try to engage with some of these people. I definitely advise against it because arguing with stupid people only makes you dumber. But if you want to avoid that or you see someone spewing out some nonsense, you know what I'd like you to do? Tag me in the post and I'll jump in and I'll set them straight because I've been doing this for a while, long time now. And I'm actually a pro at it. I know their playbook. I know exactly what they do. I know how to handle them. And I, I know what, the, what they're doing. At the end of the day, they're very um, inferior in their thought process because they haven't put the time in. So soft tissue treatment is the best. It is the best in the world. And it does take time. It does take effort. It does take struggle to get better. But if you get really fucking good at it, you're going to totally change people's lives and make them better than they've ever been. And you're gonna keep them the hell out of the surgeon's office and off pain pills, injections, and surgeries because they don't need that shit. So that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, grab that free training uh, going into the seven problems, seven questions to ask. Learn about it, go through it, and start to change your perspective. And make a dedication to be a true master at your craft and understand that you can speed it up by learning from somebody like me and I can show you how to do that. Appreciate you guys listening to the episode. And like I said, you run into any of these jackasses that want to just spew hate, tag me in it. I'll go in, take care of it, and help you out. If you like the show, give it a comment, like, a share. Give us a five-star review. That would be great as well. And just share it with other people. And don't take shit from physical therapists because they're assholes. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thanks so much for listening to the show. If you're a massage therapist and you want to learn more about our new methods that allow you to easily double your income without working any harder or getting burnout, we have some free resources for you. One, join our Facebook group, The Soft Tissue Revolution. Two, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Three, request our free training series. Four, leave us a five-star review and share this podcast with anyone else you know it can help. Links to all our channels and free training are in the show notes.